Hello and welcome. This is Thomas. Today I'm going to show you how to automate an SAP business process by using pure microfocus UFT functionality. So without any add-ins, you don't need business process testing. It's just pure UFT functionality. I've already created a new test. You see here it's just creating the new test and it has one action and the first action is going to be the VA01 which is create an order in SAP. This will create an order and yeah from the system I get a order number and this order number is going to be used in another action. So I'm adding another action here like the VA02 and uh, which will be the edit or update order and there I'm going to use the order number which has been created by VA01. So let's how see, how see how this works. First I need to record the VA01 of course. So go to the recording mode, select the SAP GUI and uh, I'm just using my open session. Here I got the open SAP GUI session and I'm recording the VA01. So let's start this transaction and uh, yeah I need some input data like order type and sales organization hope i remember all those that's a question of test data handling which will be a different topic of course you need need to have some test data of course to be able to run through your business process so select the sales area for uh, this order and okay so now i should be able to add a material to my order let's use this one quantity one um, hope this is on stock. Let's check the availability. Continue checking. Yep, yeah, perfect. Looks good. Now I can save and at this moment it will create this order number you see here in the bottom and the status bar. There is the order number I need for the next transaction in my flow. So I'm defining here an output value. Output value asks uh, UFT to extract this order here from the status bar, you can see status bar. There are multiple things in this status bar, so there's also some text, and but there's also this uh, item two. You got this order number here. It's going to save it to an output name like yeah, status bar item two, but you should rename it so um, you don't need to. But it's uh, more readable if you give the, the column in the, your data table a meaningful name. This is the column in my data table, which is actually an actual Excel sheet, by the way. So it's now saving this order number into my Excel sheet. And it will do this all time when I run the automated test. So every time you run the test, you get a new order number. So it will also extract the new order number and save it to my Excel sheet. Yeah, so this is how my test looks like. Here it's extracting the order number you can see down here. And it's saving it here right into the data table, which is uh, yeah, like an embedded Excel sheet. And uh, the column name you, you know I've, I've just typed in. And I'm going to use this order number now in the second action. In the second action, we look into this data table and just reuse whatever order number is in there. And uh, whatever was created in the previous action of my business process. So I'm recording now the VA02. <coughs> VA02, let's start it. Oh, it's pre-filled, but you can't be sure. Maybe it's not entered yet. So better retype it. So I'm retyping in the order number. 12382, search. I'm searching for this order and let's do some minor change to this order, maybe in detail and uh, specify here another quantity and save. Check the availability, continue. Okay, um, fine, I can exit uh, the transaction and then stop recording. Now I've recorded VA02, but yes, if you look into the script, you will see that there is still a constant value for the order number. How do I link this to the uh, value from the data table right here? It's simple as that. 
just click on this icon, switch to data table and select the column or a number. And that's it. This links this input here to here, this column in the data table. So whatever order is being created, it is in, in the previous uh, one of the previous steps, it's going to be used in, in this step. So it's a very short business process, but I hope you understand the idea. Of course, you can do more lengthy processes and yeah, with lots of steps and then pass and then and you use this order number in lots of following uh, steps. Yeah, it, it there's always the option to have uh, your script looking into the data table and extracting any data you want to use in your actions. So let's run the test. It's first going to run this VA01 transaction. It's running quite fast. Let's move this over here. The yellow arrow shows where the current command is that it is currently being executed. So now it's going to the VA02 and you can see um, that it's actually did reused with the order number we got one two three eight three which is a new order number the previous was one two three eight two <laughs> now it's three eight three at the end um, and this is the result file we got here va01 va02 and you see here what it did um, one two three eight three <laughs> the new order number it did just like type into the new transaction and so it was reusing or it was using the new order number that was generated by the VA01 create sales order transaction right into the in this step and it's typing into this this number into the edit field and yeah so simple as that and you can see then in the result also all the other steps I was doing, like I was starting here the transaction code, um, here again typing in the order number and changing that value, the quantity, pressing save, exit the transaction, etc. etc. Yeah, so finally we got a small business process automated. Longer business processes work just right the same. So just add additional transactions, reuse this value in other actions as well. Yeah, that's how it works. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.